say you weren't feeling it, but I think that's just the boomer coming through when you want to get to sleep. But we always want to see some competitive Valorant, some close games, because they get so exciting. But one thing's for certain is that to have exciting moments like this, we also have to have the quiet moments, which is Charlotte Phoenix going down a little bit earlier in that first map. This time, if it's closer, we could get some tension, essentially. And we are going to see a three smoke execute down straight into this A site from Gen G. Two players coming out to bathrooms. The smoke is over towards heaven. GMD pounces, and they might get around the corner. Anger does trade, and Mikhail will get two. And all of a sudden, things are looking good. There's a TP. So KZ is coming in from the backside. And they're just going to look to work around this flank now. Also, look out for Wynn, who's going to be further out, too. I don't think that they're going to really be uh, dealing with him right now this second, though. More players are going to be sacked away inside of the lamps rooms, as you can see in front of your screen there, KZ. He's playing all the angles, though, just being cautious and concerned as to where this could possibly be. Great read, though, from Wynn, actually, is going to play that recon dart and get them so much information that they can then jump right on top of them like the pack of wolves that they are. And that was well done from Mikhail on all sides. Not only the entries to start that off as they came through that connector into spawn, but also pushing through U-Haul, knowing that they didn't have the control because they had so many people uh, flanking and not even coming down through shorts. It means that they have more control through U-Haul. They have this rotation that they can play, and he comes in the flanks to solidify the round. Well done from Gen G, and off to a good start. Once again, this is uh, familiar territory for Genji. They were in this earlier in the last game when they were just rolling off of the momentum that they were able to get on their attacks round after round after round. And as you know, off screen, right? You get the coordination, A sites wide open. They're going to do their due diligence around here, but the damage has certainly been done. We know that it's available to them. The Silver Drone's also going to give them a ton of intel as to what's located around there. And they're going to play this very cautious double smoke pop, not using their walls, just looking to go with it with the smokes. On the flank, though, you have a few members. They're going to get aggressive here. Player one is going to encounter Spirit right away, but he's going to make easy pickings of him. Another one as well. Oh and player one, the only player we should be talking about in this round thus far has been amazing. And now it's just KZ with the shorty. Oh, the shorty. And player one, again, another headshot. Just needed three bullets in the chamber there, Bala. That was nice shots, little one taps around the corners on all the flankers coming out of Charlotte Phoenix. And same story we saw on uh, the, the Haven map, which was essentially Charlotte Phoenix attempting these play with anger, with KZ, with Spirit, who was playing Sage last time. Ending, oh, sorry, he was actually playing. So who's playing the Sage? Regardless, oh, there's none. So this is interesting. But what I'm basically saying, they made these eco approaches. Three down bathroom that time, and it was shut down quickly by GMD and Mikhail, who are working this straight into this. They get him in the corner, and there's going to be a molly here. Jets can be able to get out, but is raised. No. She has to just use the paint shells. And they trade. Actually, not even. It's two players getting a little damaged. And even one kill coming out for Gen G, clearing out the bathrooms well, and now they have the room. The Owl Drone's clearing out Hookah. They're starting to put a little pressure on towards B, but I think it might be an approach towards A. Again, three smoke execute available and possibly no response, though. This time, Jet is at the U-Haul position. Nice anyway. shot from player one. Effie's did tag him up a little bit there. And, and that Owl Drone over on Hookah that you mentioned in passing, that was actually a really important Owl Drone because it just gave them information. Someone was there. Actually, I think it spotted both players that were there. So they knew that they could just take full advantage of this. And I also like the idea of them giving the plant here to GMD one step closer to that run it back. Wind inside of Lamps. I believe it's going to be Spirit that push up. Everyone's inside of Lamps. I don't know what this... They must really like this particular store and whatever business they provide. Is no, it, they're it's all a little concerning here. But they are they all inside of there and it works out for them. Spirit now on the full flank. We'll run into player one here in a second. Player one's been shooting like a champion lately and he's going to do that again. 
Another headshot for player one, and another win for Gen G. Okay, okay. Uh, let's back it up a little bit. I'm realizing a couple baller. things about the comp. No Sage, no Cypher, who I'm pretty sure had a 100% pick rate in this tournament up to this point, and pretty much in every tournament that we've seen so far in Valorant. No Cypher here on Vine, and that kind of shows why that Gen G side is a little bit more confident to push through onto these sites. They don't have to spend the time shock darting the trap wires down. They don't have to spend the time walking up close. It can kind of just work the execute and go for it. It's player one again. One shot starts it off oh and he gets the wall gosh. bang as well. 3-0, probably going to be 4-0 as there's no weapons available for them to even pick up on the Charlotte Phoenix side. There is a reason why you want controllers. And no, I'm not talking about an Xbox or PlayStation 4 control. I'm talking about Yeah, you Sage. get a PTSD right there. And, and there you go. Uh, sorry, Fortnite guy. Uh, Sage and Cypher, are you serious? Not running those agents. And one of them, at least one of them. Cypher is so important. And in the last game, I believe it was Terms that was running Cypher. And he didn't really have a lot of success. Uh, and, and I don't think they're having that much success here either. You're, you're just giving up a lot of control on the site. I know it's like, oh, they're controllers, obviously. But what I'm saying is you're, they're there for a reason. You need that. If you just smoke everything out, they're, they're just going to freely go in there and push. You have no, no info gathering besides a Sova if you manage to land an arrow and it doesn't get destroyed in an instant. So th this is a... a this is clearly, I mean, I don't even know if this is like good for attack. I, I'm I'm just really wondering the, the composition as a whole, like why this is their game plan or like what the intention is here, you know? Yeah, definitely a lot of questions. Maybe just a, a kind of gamble, try to catch them off guard. Maybe Gen G was going to get a little cheeky with their picks and have a little counterplay. I don't know. I haven't really seen that be a thing in Valorant. Obviously, the gunplay out trumps everything but again first down short we have run it back active he's gonna flash him off he does get the shot so jimby has to get sent back win through as well there's the smokes but terms is up above okay. he's gonna get two okay. he's gonna get three all of them coming out of short are down that's a spike the last two players is gmd and mikhail in bathrooms and they've worked picks here before but not when all five, three members who are working the other side of the a site are down so while I still think that the concern regarding the composition is definitely valid, Terms already with that one play, I think in the last game went like four and 15 or something. So Terms already having a, a, a way better game here on the raise. Make that four. Terms can get an ace here. Get this team to, to show some life in the early round. But player one, he keeps hitting those nasty shots. Spirit's there for the pickup though, and that it's going to be the first round win here for Charlotte Phoenix. They they needed yeah. this one because last time losing eight straight like that, you, you can't let that happen. Mm. Yeah. So they, they stopped the bleeding much earlier, which is a very good sign because remember, they started to come back. I mean, if they if they had stopped the bleeding on Haven at this point, that match could have looked quite different. It could have been Charlotte Phoenix in the lead. So hopefully that's what we're seeing. So double opping for Charlotte Phoenix too. I think that could work out really well, especially with double smokes. JMD's doing such a good job pushing this bathroom's play back. That paint shell should have come in a little bit earlier, but he was worried about getting back away in case he did peak that angle. Spirit's going to need to get in an angle for this op. So they got an op over on A that they, or on B that they have identified. Two players moving over on the flank, and then you're going to leave Terms over at A. But their attention is going to be centered toward B right now. Spirit scouts out on B long, doesn't see anything for the time being. Doesn't mean in his eyes that they're necessarily not there, but I think that they feel pretty confident that they could start moving some resources over to the A site if need be. Two smokes played out. This, These are the smokes that they like to use. Trims is going to be inside of lamps. Second flash now for GMD. He's going to get inside of here. And he's a, Trims has revealed his positioning. And it's going to be player one. But Anger, put two. 
Effie shuts that one down. KZ over in the back. They need to get this spike in play, which they do successfully. Three players now are going to be swarming on A site. Win. What a shot from him. Oh, man. If he just got there at the nick of time, no, he would have been able to get that shot off. But they at least know where he is. So paranoia played, but no follow up. And win right through the smoke, man. He's just nasty with it. It's hey, shark he needs darts. to pop off. Yeah, the, he's the, set the up for shark darts. darts. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and that was just a. It, it was it was slow, it was painful to watch, but it felt so good for Gen G to get that round win. Yeah. That was nice. Nicely done. Painful to watch if you're Charlotte Phoenix. Either way. They now lose that what seemed like they were gonna break the momentum of Gen G. They've been approaching this A side so every single time. Too. Double it ops, is, yeah. Very pricey. It is, and I think that they've got to get that rolling if they really want to get this double smoke setup to work. Cypherless and Sageless. It's not something you normally see. Sharon tries to get something down in short, but it doesn't work out. Just the dink onto Mikhail. And from here, even neural thefts. This is perfect on uh, on anti ecos because you know, like you know, Charlotte Phoenix is one one team to stack or to push a certain spot. And with all the information now, they can kind of work around it. But they're so scattered, and KZ has gotten a lot of space. Effie's finally put some down, but that was looking scary for a moment. And now all the time that they've spent putting it back is wasted. They don't have the information that they had earlier. GMD though, up close to Hookah finds. Spirit, and they know now where shots is, and he either has to back up or try to get off. Oh no! And yeah, he's become a superhero here. Unfortunately, that's only in comic books. One player left pushing around. Anger, not going to happen there. And Gen G will get another round win. Continuing to add on here. What does Charlotte Phoenix look to do? Same defensive hold here. They're not changing anything up. It's... I, I can understand maybe the Cypher. I can understand maybe the Sage. But what I can't understand is both. Mm -hmm. They're just too good. At least if you had a Cypher on a site and and maybe the logic could be that you know paint shells will deny them any control into shower but gmd's just been winning that or battle every single time and, and continuing to get run it back and there's been little to no uh response there from Cherms. right he just keeps baiting it out he i know that he's gonna be there and they're splitting this one up nicely so spirit though with a, a shot on effie's Gives them some breathing room here. They also have an orbital strike too, so this could look like a win if they decide to get onto the site. Win though. Nails terms from downtown. Also put down some damage too on that player on the that was actually gonna be Casey on the other side. GMD's going for this one. He's gonna have a stun Casey. And GMD right at the end of his run it back will get the kill on a weakened jet. But no spike down yet. Anger. Yeah, yeah, and that's because Anger mollied the spot that he wanted to plant on, and he still has the orbital strike. He had it out, but they don't even go for it. He's gonna fake the plant, and he's gonna peek it anyways. GMD though in bathrooms trades that. They got the spike down now, but look at the position. The other player is all the way down short A. Have GMD still work in the bathroom. This could actually work as long as it doesn't peek out. There's the recon bolt. GMD will die though to the hands of spirit. And now it should be an easy retake as Omen has already come over here. 13 seconds. They got to. He has to grab the spike. That's when and plant. I'll drone out. He sees it. Recall bolt two. He can spray through the box. Now he has to try to find two. They denied the plant. The shots will swing around the corner to finish that off. The second now for Charlotte Phoenix. And look at their double right. artifact. Yep. This, you know, look. That Spirit has been great in this series. I, I think there have been a few moments where Spirit really shined. Um, and 
and I know that Casey's kind of just having a, a, a bit of a slower game here, but I am expecting him to begin to find some some frags with this op. And it might actually come with this because now they're going to give him a different look inside of the showers. GMD is going to poke this one out. And I think KZ wants... No, KZ backs away, but would have been great to see KZ get aggressive rather than let them have that space. He's been punished before by, by getting a little too aggressive here in bathrooms. So I think he's being a little bit more cautious. And it worked out, right? Every time that they actually have players on this A site that are able to challenge through U-Haul, this three smoke thing doesn't necessarily work out. Here it comes again. Sherms this time is working in bathroom. He's going to look back, but they're going to get that wall down and plant. And then the peek through. Mikhail's going to get him. He's going to get two. They deny the plant with the little strike, but don't find any damage, which is important. All oh, up still. Shots going to the child's behind him. He does take out the big flank that was so important. Here's a paranoia off the side as well. When with one as things slow down, but four players from Genji are positioned optimally on this retake. When has Eager Quinn? Oh yeah, no, he, he Win just was reading that one. He knew exactly where KZ was going to be, and, and Win has been a surgeon with that op, uh, putting all those shots everywhere that he wanted to go. He's, he's, he's threading the needle wide open. It doesn't matter. Wind's hitting them all. He's hitting all the shots. That he is. And, and, and player one, too. A couple of different people on Gen G are hitting the shots that they need. You even see GMD really dominating that shower's position and getting aggressive through smokes. A lot of things going right for Gen G, clearly, as we look at the score line 7 2. And they even still have the potential to keep it where it was on Haven. My goodness. The attacking side pick from Gen G clearly working out here on Binds, and they were gifted it on Haven because that was Charlotte Phoenix's pick. But again, the the conversation needs to be around the composition. They are allowing them to be able to freely walk onto sites because the only thing that can slow them down are some smokes and and, and a molly. You know, the, the, the nades have been tossed out early a few times, so you can't really bank on that. This first floods have just been going over for player one and company so many times. And, and they're able to just march and move quickly onto sites here, no matter what they do, because there's no amount of stall that they could possibly put forward here. GMD now knows exactly where they're going to be. Now, this is where if GMD in a corner has to be careful, but even then doesn't get tagged up a little bit. Wind catches one off of the portal there. You ain't going to get much out of that one, and that is another a flawless round for Gen G because there's nothing no. that could stop him from getting onto site. And that was desperation, too, from Charlotte Phoenix. You saw Spirit run through that smoke in a 1v5 situation rather than trying to save his weapon or, or think about the situation, maybe dive to drop the spike, but there was still time on the board. You saw people coming through the hookah TP as fast as possible to try to get a good flank. Things are falling apart from the two rounds that we saw a little bit earlier. Now Gen G seems to be back in the driver's seat. And by the hands of Huynh, and pretty much everybody on this side, Spirit, they're going to get a card. That's going to be a long beat. They're going to slow, but they back off completely. Spirit does get the information, though. He might even want to get even further up here. His terms is still holding off GMD in bathrooms. Them pushing out on Belong now will allow them to use a paranoia on to short, but they're going to have to move very quickly. Orbital Strike is going to be out and in play here. No kills quite yet. KZ does get a kill, but it's going to be Huynh and Effies who managed to pick up two. From the flank is going to be coming your Omen and your Sova. And then Anger with the Elder Flame. Inside of this, <laughs> inside of Lamps, I was going to say, I think he was looking for any kind of info that he could get out of this one. But off of the flank they go. No spike down just yet. And they can move around to the B side if they want to. <laughs> what a weird situation. Two players on the flank after they've gotten the A site. They're going to run through that TP. The timing is going to be so that Shots is not going to see anything as they cross the win. Low HP. That could be dangerous. This could be both players coming on the attacking side of the map. Shots through Hookah. Actually, both through Hookah. Lots of shenanigans right now. 
Or not to sight, but he's gonna go right into the hands of Wind there, who was waiting for him. Spirit, though. Maybe with the op, he's got a few shots to work with here. Let's get some information. That shot just a little bit wide. But oh, no, Spirit. Oh, just as you were hoping that some life here for Charlotte Phoenix would emerge. It is ripped away by Effie's, ironically playing Sage, the one who gives life. So 9-2 in the count here, and it looks like a, a splitting image of what we were seeing on Haven. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think they're going to improve on the hat. I think they might bring it to 10 2 instead of the 9 3 last time. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you were saying something about Charlotte Phoenix. I was like, wait, what? No, 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 no. I think it's, yeah. I think it's, uh, I think they're losing hope, man. I, I'm seeing people dash through smokes on an A take uh, instead of playing retake together. I'm seeing people, you know, give up and run, try to fight a 1v5 rather than saving your weapon. Like, I, I, I see all hope lost for Charlotte Phoenix in the way that they're playing rather than, you know, some ideas or some last second innovations. And it's only pistols here on this final round as well. Spectres as well. Probably light armor too. Shots will find another one on the flank. He's been doing this the last couple of rounds and now they've put Genji in an awkward position as they have to fight this again, but they haven't actually taken the site like last time. Daisy corrected that shot on Michael, but Effie's was there to trade it out again. Here comes Spirit, though. He's been this hero for this team. One's going to be on default, and another one right by the pot, right by the uh, the ice wall. There, it's all up to Anger. He's got a sheriff. No one's really weakened enough, though. Anger's hearing all this movement. Now Spectre picked up, but GMD, GMD looked at the perfect time. Ten two. Gen G could be walking away with this one going into the semifinals confidently mm -hmm. awaiting the winner of Sentinels and Immortals. Yeah, I was saying they lost their confidence after Matt one, but no, they bring it right back. And you're right. Now they move to defense. Now all they've got to do is get three rounds on defense, which I think they should be able to do pretty easily. Unfortunately, Charlotte Phoenix's story might be ending here right now. Well, let's see what their what their plan is, because perhaps this is an attack composition. Uh, focus more, and, and oh, well, even then, though, I mean, there's there's no flashes. There's, uh, he, I, I mean, if you had a phoenix, maybe you, you you phoenix with the paranoia, but you only really have one blinding tool. You got some keep away with the sova. They're grouped up over here, just looking to get right into the long. Terms looking to force out now. And this is gonna work out for them, but they just they just push forward. They just hold W on their keyboards and they just push forward and they manage to get themselves some kills. Now they're gonna have to retake the site back up. And and, and that was just a weird one, but hey, I mean I guess it it works out very well for Gen G is they're just all sticking around one another. Five players on defense jumping out of hookah window. What is going on right now? GMD will get angered. And it's all left the shots as they take that easy retake. Although a situation I don't think I've ever seen maybe starting to take things a little not too seriously. Whatever. It works. Five through hookah. Nothing to stop them. <laughs> Just five man push through hookah. Nothing there to yeah, nothing. Nothing to stop them. Eat cause because even then, right? Even then, that's when the fault of this composition is played out because you get site control. You don't have a cypher. You don't have a, a sage. Nothing to stall them. Because that play would be punished if there was a controller at play there. Maybe I'm getting too hung up on it. Maybe they're just they're just fragging them out. And that's it. I mean, they even had the smoke, but they just kind of played it, right? The, the smoke for a moment kind of yeah. worked a little bit, I guess. But nah. In any case, anything that they get is a little too little too late. All five players through Hookah again. It looks like we're playing a game of ARAM. <laughs> Even with the comps. All random, all mid, let's go. There's the go for it. Oh, GMD. Oh, oh, GMD. Kills. Oh, GMD. Oh, FEs, you horrible person, man. You're a terrible teammate. How could you take that from him? <laughs> Match point now for Gen G. One more left, and they will be awaiting the winner of Sentinels and Immortals.
<laughs> oh, man. Just absurd, man. At least we're getting some entertainment in the final rounds now that we stop taking it a little too seriously. <laughs> but man, oh man, we're these two best of threes that we've just been watching a little bit lackluster. But hey, you can't win them all. And we're just seeing the difference right here for Gen G and a team like Charlotte Phoenix, the teams that will be making it through the quarterfinals. No upset here. This is what we expected, but maybe not at this level of stomp for Gen G again, down short. Quick flash. Fun times. Fun times. Well, now we're going to be a match point here, and they do have some guns. Let's try and make something happen here, but it is going to be so challenging given how Genji, they're playing with just a lot of confidence. Trade out. Spirit does get the kill on Mikhail, but already Effies is there to help out flow coming through this and now things are starting to brighten up gmd on site shots so weak by the way that hurts losing kz you have some weakened players here oh dear things starting to fall apart now it's just going to be player one please put me out of my misery both players slow we got a molly in sight as well do it to him player one. Oh, doesn't happen bala doesn't happen all right I tried. Tried to give him the, my energy, but alas. Tried to send it we, over there, man. We, you know? we, we have to go one more round. There is, uh, there, there have been some, some high points to take away for Charlotte Phoenix and Haven. Uh, I think that everything kind of just, they, they, they just struggle to get any kind of. Like ball rolling, right? I mean, I know this seems like the most obvious statement in the world. Thank you, Captain Obvious, but it, it, it's like it's true. They 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 just struggled. This is the kind of, of of attack that I wanted to see from them, or this is just really the kind of play in general that I wanted to see from this team. Because if you have a composition like this, just get a little bit more aggressive. Don't give them too much space to work with. Yeah, just hit two shots through the smoke, no problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the man advantage towards charlotte phoenix they've got the b site again but we've seen how this has happened at these it's going to be stuck in long he's getting the spike but gets traded out so casey's going to be able to retrieve that and bring it back in spirit on top of the box he gets the one in spawn it's all left to mcgill and he grabs spike again now they have to cross in his sights and he's possibly about to pull off a 1v4 based on how they just split up. Oh, and he catches the paint shell on the face, right on the head, and that's cue for him to back up. He gives up the spike, and now things are almost probably impossible, but we've seen crazier things. Indeed we have. Indeed we have. All right. So another round win here for Charlotte Phoenix. They're, they're, they're just trying to fight back. As best right. they can. This is literally what happened on Haven. Uh, same thing. They were just round by round fighting back, and and we felt confident about them for Bind. And then game started. You know things just weren't making a lot of sense. All right, all right, all right. GB, I'm gonna flex my caster muscles right here. Okay. Let's go for it, Here's man. It. Because no one wants to hear from me. We're gonna hear the caster's curse. It's a comeback. It's starting. Oh my god. <laughs> Just literally cursed it. Right there. Caster curse. Player one comes around corner. Headshots with a share. <laughs> oh man. Come on guys. Five head play from the caster. Oh sweet lord. Okay, so they get out of there. So they are tagged up. So it's very weak. GMD is some control of the mid there but it's not really going to be all that much he can get out of that one do get inside of long and they're just all stacked perhaps they're just going to all go for a tp through if they realize this is not going to work out for them and then they'll just all teleport through this and back away they're they're Ooh. just pinned they're all tucked away and pinned inside of this gmd just got all the info too 
Yeah. Spirit is going to be hunting Spearing on the site, get a little bit of damage, but he got all the info that it's not going to be A. That means the Cypher's rotating off as well. They could go through the portal, though, and that's what they're going to do. Yes! All three. But GMD is there! GMD. The I thought and you, I thought you saw it. He's <laughs> trapped. Oh, no. And perfect. Oh, oh no. my goodness. There you go. The caster's cursing works. 13-4. Gen G is going to move on to the semifinals. The game is over. And finally, it happens. Charlotte Phoenix, unfortunately, are now down and out, but not before a pretty, you know, a, a, a tournament performance that I think was better than what we've seen.